What instantly ages someone? Night shifts in the emergency department. Back pain. You can't move like a young person if your back hurts. Grief. Nothing ages you like grief. Lack of sleep. I was gonna say the way you dress but it went real dark in the comments skull. Stress. What's something people typically don't know about cats until they have one as a pet? They snore. If you have a routine, they will adapt to it. My cat gets upset if we stay up late. He goes to lay in his bed and will meow to tell us it's bedtime. And the flip side though, if we try to sleep in, he wakes us up when we usually wake up lol. Cats, like dogs, can sense when you're not well. I'm currently recovering from sinus surgery and my cat didn't leave my side for three days extra affectionate she also seems to sense that my face is currently off limits to boops as she often does she's more back to normal behavior now but i had a nice recovery attendant for a few days the belly is not necessarily a touch and you die zone you have to earn the trust to see it in the privilege to rub it which is a specific treat with my cat because she loves belly rubs but is avoidant of most all people the random running for no reason during the night they are smart as hell i got my first one about six to seven years ago she jumped into my car window when i was eating a sandwich which almost gave me a heart attack that some strange animal jumped into my car she was dirty skinny and scruffy so i gave her some of my turkey sandwich couldn't find anyone who claimed her so I took her to the vet they gave her shots and treated her for worms. So I'm guessing she was a young stray. I took her home with the intention of rehoming her. But within about a week or two she woke me up in the middle of the night freaking out so I followed her to my basement and my water heater was flooding my basement. I looked at her and said you know. You earned it and can stay kitty. She did the slow blink and the rest is history been best pals since. She never grew very large. She's about 7 pounds or so. About 60% of the size of a Norman cat. So it's like a kitten for life I guess. What are you better at than 99% of people? What is the smallest food container that will fit these leftovers? It's a very specific skill. But I feel powerful every time I use it. Recognizing and naming local trees and plants. Troubleshooting. I never thought this was a real standalone skill until I got into the workforce and, yeesh. The number of people who can't approach technical problems in a logical, systematic fashion is absolutely astounding. Speaking Tahitian. With only 50,000 speakers worldwide, I'm better than 99.999% of people. Also running. I've gotten slower since running at the collegiate level. But, without training, I did a work 5k last weekend and ran 2448 pushing a stroller with both my children in it. Picking stuff with my foot. Never bend over, never give up. People tell me it's quite impressive. Washing the dishes. Loading the dishwasher. And putting away dishes where they belong. And. I love doing it. What have you realized you like less, and less the older you get? Crowds. Loud noises. I feel like I've become much more sensitive to all sorts of noises as time has passed. Having to go to work. Social media. Movie sound effects. They are too loud, while at the same time the dialogue is inaudible. The expectation of being contactable 24-7. What is the most depressing city you have been to? Cairo, Egypt. It could be amazing to visit the remnants of one of the great civilizations but instead it's a littered crumbling place where the local peddlers are harassing tourists to the point of fear. Men touch foreign women without consent. Just passing in the street. Awful awful place. The port city of Aden in the Yemen. 
I was lucky that I got shipped out the day before the last civil war started. Kolkata, India. Levels of poverty and suffering that I had never even imagined before visiting. Gary, Indiana. Roswell, New Mexico. Imagine if a rundown Chuck E. Cheese somehow grew into an entire city. Phnom Penh. The most seedy vibe you've ever felt. Western men all over young Cambodian girls. The horrible history. Couldn't wait to leave the place. Broke my heart. What's the worst bad habit that you developed as a child that you've carried through to adulthood? Procrastinating. People pleasing. Being afraid to say no. Putting other s needs before my own. Being afraid of confrontation. Dot and much more few. Laziness. Being intelligent was amazing in school. Fantastic grades without effort. Unfortunately. All it really taught me was that I could half-ass my way through life. And now I'm paying for it. Zero. Leaving everything for later me to deal with. Staring at a screen in the dark when I should be sleeping. I started smoking every day when I was eight and just before I went cold turkey because of a stroke I was smoking about 75 hand-rolled cigarettes a day. Subscribe, my brothers.